welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. That would be me. I'm Darren Marlar. And coming up on today's show, imagine offering teenagers assault rifles as prizes. That's coming up in our Moment of Duh today. A major phone scam is taking place right now that you need to be wary of. I'll give you the details on that. Uh, Jerry Mathers as the Beaver. Remember that show? Well, Sean Mathers as the Skunk. Yeah, Beaver Cleaver, his little brother, also has an animal attached to his career. It's a skunk, and I'll tell you why that is coming up a little bit later on. If you want to get someone to do something, talk into that person's right ear. Why? I will tell you why uh, coming up later in the show. Caviar, hot sidewalks, people you love, it all shows up in today's weird holidays. Uh, also, Pope Francis, he doesn't want to hear no complaining from you. I will explain what I mean by that coming up uh, later in the show as well. Uh, but, you know, I am just beginning to realize that, you know, probably every day, somewhere my voice is in a sleek, red Italian sports car. You know, my voice, it's, it's poolside in the most beautiful backyards in town. My voice is heard in banks and soda shops and cafes. My voice is having more fun than I am. Dude, listen, listen, listen. 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 What's your name? Jaron Marler. I'm going to make him stay in. The Jaron Marler Radio Show. I have no faith in this at all. Time for today's Moment of Duh on the Darren Marlar Radio Show, and imagine offering teenagers assault rifles as prizes. In Oklahoma Church, they'd planned to give away a semi-automatic assault rifle at a weekend retreat for teens, but while well, they canceled it after one of the event organizers was unable to attend. The shooting competition it has been canceled, and the church says they're going to give the $800 gun away next year. The church said the gun giveaway it was to encourage teens to show up. Yes, giving guns to encourage teens to show up. Do you really want to give semi-automatic rifles to teens? I mean, especially teens that are anxious to get a semi-automatic rifle. Uh -huh. What do you want to be when you grow up? Darren Marlar. I think he's cool. cool. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. Finally, a connection to the real world. This could be the beginning. You feel it? Feel it? Feel it? There is a major phone scam that is taking place right now that you need to be wary of, and I'll have details on that coming up. I'm Darren Marlar, and thirst. You know, thirst can actually masquerade as hunger, and that's one of the reasons that dieters should stay hydrated. Well, now German researchers they have found another reason. Water it fuels your body's fat burners. For uh, 90 minutes after drinking 16 ounces of cold water, adults saw their metabolism rise by 24 percent over their average rates. According to the study author Jens Jordan, MD, the mechanism is partly due to the energy that your body generates to warm the water during digestion. Yeah, sure, okay, but uh, who's going to choose drinking water over microwaving a pizza? Can I have your attention, please? The Darren Marlar Radio Show. You are officially out of control. Thanks for listening to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. A word of advice for you. Screen your phone calls. Even when a call seems legitimate, you need to be wary of it. There are some unscrupulous people right now who are trying to steal your identity by pretending to be from the U.S. Department of Homeland Security's Office of Inspector General. Now, here's the ruse. These criminals they, they scam caller ID systems to make it appear that they are calling from an official federal government telephone number. Using what's been described as pronounced accents, well, they claim to be from U.S. immigration, and they tell victims that they have been affected by identity theft. And in a bogus attempt to quote unquote help, while well, these scammers they'll ask their victims to either provide or confirm personal information that they then use to really steal their identity. The phone number, by the way, that appears on a victim's caller ID is 1 800 323 8603. You want to write that down? 800 323 8603. That is a legitimate hotline number for the Inspector General of Homeland Security. However, this hotline is never used for outgoing calls, only incoming calls about reports of fraud, waste, 
abuse and mismanagement with the agency. So if you get a call from 800-323-8603, that is a scammer. Homeland Security, they were alerted to this scam by some victims who uh, called the hotline asking why they had been contacted and asked such personal questions. If you want to read a little bit more about this, uh, I do have a link to the story at facebook.com slash Darren Marlar. You're pretty far out there, even for the guys who do a lot of this stuff. Oh, the Darren Marlar Radio Show. That's what I'm talking about. Are you talking to me? And Jerry Mathers as the beaver. And Sean Mathers as the skunk. <laughs> beaver Cleaver's little brother. He also has an animal attached to his career a skunk. And I'll give you the story on that one coming up. According to a poll from Gallup, Illinoisans have the lowest opinion of their state of any Americans. 25% of people that live in Illinois say that Illinois is the worst possible state to live. Unless you're in Chicago, at which point you're not expected to survive at all. Stop it, you're scaring me. Now, I might not know how to tango, but I know how to man dance. The Darren Marlar. I think you're a little confused here. Bring it, meat! Radio show. Okay, so you have somebody that you really want to do something for you. Well, how do you approach them? Well, if you want them to do something, talk into that person's right ear. Not their left ear, but their right ear. Why? I will tell you why here in just a few minutes. Jerry Mathers as the beaver, Sean Mathers as the skunk. Cops have found the answer to crime right under their noses. The Los Angeles Police Department has a special unit that drives drug dealers and other lowlifes out of abandoned buildings by smearing their rooms with blobs of horrid smelling goop. Well, the name of the new urban heroes, the Skunk Squad, and their weapon is called Skunk Shot, and it sends criminals running for fresh air while gagging and holding their noses. And the odor, it keeps them away for days. Skunk Shot, it's been able to do what fences, gates, barbed wire, and multiple arrests have been unable to do, says Lieutenant Sean Mathers, the younger brother of Leave It to Beaver star Jerry Mathers. Mathers and Gage, they surfed the web and discovered Skunk Shot, a synthetic repellent, a uh, synthetic gel that is, invented in New Zealand, and each $12 tube it holds enough to smear about five locations. It must be true, cause I heard it on the radio. It must be true, it must be true. Attention everyone, this is the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Hi, I'm Darren Marlar, and if you want to get somebody to do something, talk into that person's right ear. People are better able to process information when requests are made in the right ear. According to Italian researchers, the left side of the brain, which gets its information from the right ear, well, that side of the brain is better at processing speech and language. The other side of the brain, that's more involved in things such as interpreting emotion. You can also see this tendency when people use the phone. Most will naturally hold it to their right ear. Each year, millions of deprived children in our country have to return to school without the latest technological gadgetry tethered to their pants. Just as generations past needed food, shelter, and clothing to sustain themselves, there's a newer crop of children who simply can't live without their iPods, portable video games, and most of all, cell phones. Like, hi. So I was talking to Ashley and she thinks that Chad is like so stuck up. Here at the Children Without Cell Phones Foundation, we give a voice to those who don't have one by saying, please don't let them return to school without looking cool. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. That is the word, word on the street. Sign up to get Darren's newsletter on his website at DarrenMarlar.com. Caviar, hot sidewalks, and people you love. It's all coming up in our Weird Holidays up next. I'm Darren Marlar. The new trend for funerals is to pose the deceased in lifelike ways at the viewing, like sitting up watching sports highlights. You know what? When I die, I plan to be posed in front of a TV watching a Cubs game, because I'm usually unconscious during those anyway.
Their show's funny. I gotta try that more often. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. So the day begins. Welcome to the Darren Marlar Radio Show, and it's time for today's weird, wacky, strange, zany, odd, bizarre, quirky, unusual holidays. Today is Tuesday, July 18th. You have 160 shopping days until Christmas, and today is Make a List of the People You Love Day. In fact, you better keep it handy so you can add to that list. And I'm in. The, I'm on the list, right? Somewhere on there? Please, you know, somewhere on, on the list of people you love, baby? Okay, well, maybe next time. Uh, today is Sidewalk Frying Day. It's a, it's a good time to fry something on the sidewalk. I don't know anybody who's actually done that, but uh, every year during the summer you hear about people do, uh, trying it. Today is National Caviar Day. And I got, when I first heard what caviar was, I got so grossed out when I found out it was just fish eggs. I mean, it was just gross. I, I almost couldn't finish my omelet. Today is Perfect Family Day. Not that anybody could celebrate it. Uh, in Spain today, it's National Uprising Day. Although you gotta wonder if it's such a good idea to have the government notice like this, right? To, to give the no government notice like, hey everybody, remember now we're uprising July 18th. Don't forget! And uh, today is Presidential Succession Act Day. On uh, this day, July 18th in 1947, the Presidential Succession Act was signed stating that in case of temporary inca incapacitation or death of the president, the vice president is next in succession, followed by the Speaker of the House and President Pro Tem of the Senate, followed then by the most available Clinton, the most available Bush, and then most recent winner of America's Got Talent. The more I resist, the more intriguing they become. You must be Darren Marlar. Pope Francis doesn't want to hear no complaining from you. I'll explain what I mean by that right around the corner. I'm Darren Marlar, and scientists have developed an off switch for the brain to effectively shut down neural activity using light pulses. Uh, yeah, didn't they already have that? I mean, they called the invention television. Cable TV has a channel that's right for you and your needs, with several new channels such as the Time Channel. Okay, now we have 724. And we're about 11 seconds away from 725. The stapling channel. I'm going to hold your paper straight, squeeze. Very good. Now get another one. The sanding channel. Always move with the grain. See, you know, you're going against the grain there. Come on back over here. Yeah. And the Pope channel. Call your cable company now and say, I want cable TV. Brought to you by Turner's Television and your local cable company. I want to hear it. The Darren Marlar Radio Show. It would make me happy. happy. Thanks for listening to the Darren Marlar Radio Show. Pope, uh, Pope Francis, he recently hung a sign near his private rooms that reads, uh, Via Tato Lamentari. Uh, Lamentarsi. Uh, via, via, I can't speak Latin. Let me try it again, though. Vietato Lamentarsi. Whatever. Anyway, it's, it's Italian for no complaining. So it's not even Latin. It's Italian. That's how bad I am at, at Latin. I don't even realize that it's not Latin. So anyway, the, the sign uh, essentially means no complaining. Uh, the sign was given to the Pope by a psychologist who writes motivational guides. And uh, Pope Francis, he's known for trying to buck up believers by telling them to cast off their melancholy and stop grumbling. While the No Complaining Signs small print, it warns complainers that they could develop, quote, a victim complex resulting in a lowering of their capacity to solve problems, unquote. Identify yourself. You're listening to... Here's the deal. It's about time. Is everyone ready? The Master of Ceremonies. Darren Marlar Radio Show. Crank up the radio. That does it for me. Thank you again for uh, listening to the Darren Marlar Radio Show, made possible by a flaw in the system. Good night, ladies. Good night, sir. Hit it, sweetheart.